Hi, I'm Alex, Peter Gold Professional, and welcome down to the channel. It is the run up to the open, and this week just gone, I have been up at the Fairmont St Andrews, and this is on the Kittix course. And I have to say, we have chosen the best place to show you a drill to improve your chipping. Now, I have seen countless comments saying, Alex, I'm struggling with chipping, I'm catching it fat, I'm catching it thin. So, I'm giving you a drill here that you can do in three minutes that will honestly change the way you chip for good. All you need is a few coins. I've just got four coins in my hand here. I'm just gonna place them on the ground one by one. Now, the idea of this drill is, it's harder to get the coin in the air than it is to get good contact on the golf ball. Like, if you're getting the coin, you've literally got to be perfect. So, get into our setup. I want your stance just a club a width apart, the weight on your left, and pull your left foot away. For a left-hander, just simply go through the process you can see on the screen right now. Now, what I want you to get in your mind here is, if I hit too down on this coin, I'm not gonna get it in the air. If I get too scoopy on the back foot, I'm gonna miss this coin. I literally have to be perfect at meeting the bottom edge of my golf club and that coin at a perfect point. So again, this drill makes it way harder. I've chosen a pound coin here. You can go 50p, 20p, or even a penny if you want to make it seriously hard. So here we go. Here's my attempts. You can do maybe two, three, even four. Look at this. There we go. Coin in the air. That's the noise we're after. That's the sort of flight we're trying to get. Honestly, if you do this three, four times, and hear that noise of duh, the confidence you're gonna take into your actual shot is gonna go sky high. I'm gonna do one more. And through. Because as I said before, right? To get that perfect is 10, 20 times harder than actually hitting the golf ball. You're having to be perfect and in. So when you get to your golf ball shots like this, and look at where we are here, this is an extremely tight lie, and for you guys who thin it, there's one place you do not want to go. Thin, over the back of that green. Terrible, horrible ocean awaiting you. So just take the same idea of allowing that bounce of the club to hit that ground. Imagine now you're hitting the coin. You've got a much bigger margin of error using this golf ball than you had with the coin. Oof. Okay, try two, try three, really build that confidence up. And one thing that I would say, if you hit two good ones, then you hit a bad one, go back to hitting those coins. Use it as a great way to reset your chipping. There you go. In under three minutes, you have fixed your chipping. Thanks for joining me.